Hey everyone, Kevin here to tell you about what we've shipped in Directus in the last month or so, including our latest release last week, 11.4. Recent releases have included a lot of small optimizations, improvements and bug fixes, but here's the highlights. It's only January, there's already a lot to talk about, so let's jump straight in. We finally support new versions of Node.js, upgrading our runtime version to Node 22. We had some dependencies that we weren't sure were compatible beyond Node 18, but we've checked and resolved all known issues, so you can continue to run direct us on current long-term support versions of Node. We've also added the ability to toggle translation interface items to make them deletable, while ensuring things like defaults, conditions, and validations continue to work as expected. This is a really nice quality of life improvement for projects with multilingual content. Our Kanban layout has also received an update, now allowing you to use relational data in titles that appear on the front of cards. Version 11.3.5 and 11.4.0 have introduced a new language, Marathi, and got it all the way to 100% coverage. This makes it the 30th language with 70% coverage or higher, with over two thirds of those over 90%. We've also added activity tracking for field deletion, which is really useful for both accountability and visibility into what has changed in your project. You can continue to find the activity log at the bottom of your sidebar on the right-hand side of the data studio. And finally, one for extension authors and a first contribution from our new core engineer, Mike. The latest version of the CLI that ships with the Directus Extensions SDK has a new validate command that performs common checks to determine that your extension will run and has key qualities that we look for. In future, we're planning to tie this to the marketplace, but for now, it's a lovely local convenience tool to help you ship better extensions. You can run it now with NPX Create Directus Extension Validate. And that's all from me, lots of updates to talk about. I'm gonna kick it back over to Beth and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.